Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 11 kicks off with a sparring session between Canute and Wolf, with the former struggling to keep up. Canute's sister, Istrid, is appalled by the violence, while a servant girl wonders if they're using real swords. Gunnar assures them that Wolf is skilled enough to hold back and not hurt Canute, as a king must be strong. Canute struggles to catch his breath, but manages to make Wolf concede a win using a clever distraction tactic. Later, in Canute's room, Gunnar reports his findings about potential sources of revenue. While there aren't many wealthy men, they could collect around £3,000 annually without raising taxes. Gunnar suggests Kettle, who owns a large farm, but Canute is more interested in finding familial military forces. Gunnar agrees to investigate, warning Canute against raising taxes too much, which may lead to a backlash from the people. Canute understands the funding problem faced by kings, as he had to pay Danish security forces stationed in England with English taxes after conquering the land. This created discontent among the English people, and downsizing the army in England would have been inevitable if funds from Danish citizens weren't available. Canute suggests taking control of more land to generate more revenue. Meanwhile, Kettle arrives at the palace and learns that King Harold has passed away. He hopes to build a good relationship with Canute, the new king of Denmark, and asks Thorgil to arrange a meeting. Olmar, Kettle's son, gets into a fight over spilt cloth, and Kettle berates him for always causing trouble. The plot thickens as we see Leif Erikson, yes, that's right, the Leif Erikson, introduce himself to a group of travellers. After a scuffle over change, Leif reveals that the young man with them is his adopted son, Thorfinn. But hold on, there's another Thorfinn in town. Kettle, the man with whom Leif and his group have shared lunch, reveals that one of his people is also named Thorfinn. In fact, Kettle muses, he probably should have named his own Thorfinn Olmar, because that's his actual name. As Leif quizzes Kettle about his Thorfinn, we learn that Thorfinn, sorry, Bug Eyes, is actually a slave with blonde hair and brown eyes, just like Kettle's Thorfinn, who is shorter but shares the same scars from old battles. Leif confirms that he's been looking for Thorfinn, the son of his enslaved friend, and the plot thickens even more when the scene changes to Leif and Bug Eyes discussing their plan with their ship captain. They're datering to Kettle's farm to find Thorfinn, but the captain won't come along. Meanwhile, Kettle and his family are summoned to meet with King Canute who graciously accepts their gifts of crops but makes it clear that he has no intention of changing the way things were done before. When Olmar, Kettle's youngest son, draws his sword and requests to join the king's forces, things get awkward. Olmar makes a show of swinging his sword around, but when it comes time to demonstrate his skills on a roasted pig, he falls short. However, Canute sees potential in Olmar and decides to consult with his captain. The episode ends with Canute revealing his plan to requisition Kettle's farm, leaving us wondering what will happen next. Despite the absence of Thorfinn and Einar, this episode is thrilling and action-packed. Leif's quest to find his friend's son and Canute's machinations both promise an explosive mid-season climax. Will they find Thorfinn? What is Canute's endgame? We can't wait to find out. If you already watched this episode please let me know your thoughts in comment section and like subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.